Hey, history divers, plunge with us into the depths of the history of Israel. Buckle up and prepare to journey through time. Our tale begins in biblical times, in the cradle of civilization, where the narrative of Israel first takes root. The origins of Israel are intertwined with the story of a people, the Israelites, who, according to the Old Testament, were descendants of a man named Jacob, later renamed Israel. As the biblical account goes, the Israelites found themselves in Egypt, where they were enslaved for several centuries. This period of bondage ended with a miraculous event known as the Exodus, led by a man named Moses, who guided the Israelites out of Egypt and back to their ancestral homeland around the 13th century BCE. Upon their return, the Israelites established the Kingdom of Israel, an era marked by prosperity and expansion under the reigns of three notable kings, Saul, David, and Solomon. King David in particular is credited with founding the city of Jerusalem around the 10th century BCE, a city that would later become the heart of Israel. However, the golden age of the Kingdom of Israel was not to last. After the death of King Solomon, the kingdom split into two, the Northern Kingdom of Israel and the Southern Kingdom of Judah. This division weakened the once mighty kingdom, making it susceptible to invasions. By the 6th century BCE, both kingdoms had fallen to foreign powers. The Kingdom of Israel was conquered by the Assyrians, while the Kingdom of Judah was later taken by the Babylonians. This led to a period of exile known as the Babylonian Captivity. The final nail in the coffin came with the Roman conquest in the 1st century BCE. The Romans, with their superior military might, crushed any remaining resistance and asserted their control over the region, thus marking the end of an era. So that's how it all started, a tale as old as time itself, etched in the sands of the Middle East. Now let's explore the political landscape of Israel, a complex and fascinating system. The political system of Israel, rooted in its Declaration of Independence in May 1948, is a vibrant tapestry of democracy, interwoven with the threads of its unique history and culture. The Declaration not only marked the birth of a new nation, but also laid the foundation of its political structure, embracing principles of freedom, justice, peace, and the preservation of the rights of all its inhabitants. At the heart of Israel's political system is the Knesset, the unicameral national legislature, responsible for passing all laws and electing the president and prime minister. The Knesset encapsulates the spirit of democracy with its 120 members representing a diverse array of political parties. Speaking of the role of the prime minister, it's a position of significant influence and authority. The prime minister, as the head of a government, oversees the execution of the country's laws and the administration of its affairs, both domestic and international. The Prime Minister's leadership and decisions often steer the course of the nation. Israel's political landscape is characterized by a multitude of parties, each with its unique ideologies and objectives. These parties range from the right-wing Likud, with its emphasis on security and the preservation of Israel as a Jewish state, to the center-left Labour Party, which advocates for social democracy and peace with neighboring Arab states. Then there's Yesh Atid a centrist party focused on economic issues and secularism. These parties, among others, contribute to the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of Israel's politics as they vie for influence and power. Yet, despite the complexity and challenges, Israel's political system continues to evolve and adapt, reflecting the resilience and determination of its people. It's a testament to a nation that, despite its relatively short history, has managed to develop a robust democratic system that strives to balance the diverse needs and aspirations of its citizens. The political system of Israel, a testament to the nation's resilience and adaptability. Time to delve into the economic structure that keeps Israel ticking. In the early years, Israel's economy was largely based on agriculture. This was a remarkable feat considering its arid landscape and scarce water resources. But innovative irrigation systems like drip irrigation were developed, transforming the desert into a fruitful land. However, the economic landscape of Israel began to shift in the late 20th century. The country started to focus on technology and the birth of the startup culture emerged. Israel, a nation smaller than New Jersey, became a global hub for innovation and entrepreneurship. 
This shift was so significant that Israel earned the nickname Silicon Wadi, a nod to California's Silicon Valley. Today, Israel is home to more startups per capita than any other country in the world. These startups span an array of industries from cybersecurity to medical technology and have attracted significant international investment. Israel's technological prowess has not only boosted its economy, but has also placed it on the world map as a significant player in the tech industry. The Silicon Wadi phenomenon has been driven by a unique blend of factors. The mandatory military service, which often includes advanced technological training, has played a significant role. This, coupled with the nation's culture of resilience and innovation, has helped foster an environment conducive to technological advancement and entrepreneurship. But it's not all about technology. Agriculture still plays a vital role in Israel's economy. The country is a world leader in agricultural technologies, particularly in water conservation and desert farming. This is a testament to their ingenuity and adaptability, turning what could have been a disadvantage, the arid desert, into an asset that feeds their nation and the world. From its humble agricultural beginnings to its rise as a technological powerhouse, Israel's economic journey is a fascinating one. It's a story of a nation that refused to be defined by its limitations and instead chose to redefine them. It's a tale of how a small country against all odds became an economic dynamo in the Middle East and beyond. From an arid desert to a technological oasis, Israel's economy is a story of triumph over adversity. Let's now turn our attention to the women of Israel, the backbone of the society. Over the years, the role of women in Israeli society has been dynamic and full of vitality, an inspiring testament to their resilience and determination. Historically, Israeli women have been integral to the country's development and progress. From the establishment of the state, they've contributed to every sphere of life, including education, healthcare, and the arts. Women's rights in Israel are not just a concept they're a reality that is protected by law. The Women's Equal Rights Law, enacted in 1951, ensures that women enjoy legal equality in matters of family law and property rights. In the political sphere, women's representation is steadily growing. From Golda Meir, the world's third woman to serve as a prime minister, to modern-day female ministers and parliamentarians, Israeli women have made their mark in politics. They have shattered glass ceilings proving that leadership knows no gender. What's more, Israel is one of the few countries where military service is mandatory for women. This isn't just about defense, it's about instilling a sense of responsibility, independence, and strength in every Israeli woman. In the workforce, Israeli women are trailblazers, particularly in the tech industry, where they hold about a third of the country's tech jobs. They are not just employees, they are entrepreneurs, innovators, and leaders, driving technological advancements and economic growth. But it's not just about what women do, it's about who they are. Women in Israel are diverse, coming from different backgrounds and cultures. They are Jewish, Arab, Druze, and more. They are mothers, daughters, leaders, and soldiers. They are strong, they are brave, and they are making a difference. And so in every corner of Israeli society, Women are leaving their mark, challenging norms, and pushing boundaries. They are playing a key role in shaping the country's present and future. Israeli women standing tall and proud, spearheading progress and equality. Now let's decipher the soul of Israel, its language and religion. The Hebrew language, a linguistic phoenix, has risen from the ashes of near extinction to become the vibrant, expressive tongue of modern Israel. Once used primarily for religious texts and liturgy, it was revived in the late 19th and early 20th centuries to become the spoken and written language of the Jewish homeland. Eliezer ben Yehuda, a linguist and Zionist, is often credited with the monumental task of reviving the Hebrew language. He believed that a common language was essential for the unification of Jews scattered across the globe. His efforts, along with those of other dedicated individuals, successfully transformed Hebrew from a language of ancient scriptures to the dynamic living language it is today. Hebrew is more than just a means of communication in Israel. It's a symbol of national identity, a link to a rich historical past, and an affirmation of cultural continuity. From the bustling markets of Jerusalem to the high-tech hubs of Tel Aviv, 
The sounds of spoken Hebrew echo through the streets, a testament to the resilience and determination of the Israeli people. Now let's delve into the heart of Israel's spiritual life, Judaism. Judaism is not just a religion in Israel, it's a way of life influencing everything from dietary habits to weekly routines. The country pulsates to the rhythm of the Jewish calendar with the Sabbath or Shabbat, marking the end of each week with a day of rest and reflection. Judaism in Israel is multifaceted, ranging from the ultra-Orthodox Haredi communities with their strict adherence to religious laws to secular Jews who may observe certain traditions while embracing a largely non-religious lifestyle. Despite these differences, a shared sense of Jewish identity and heritage holds a central place in the hearts of Israeli citizens. Religious landmarks pepper the landscape of Israel. From the Western Wall in Jerusalem, a site of profound significance for Jews worldwide, to the city of Safed, known for its mystic traditions and Kabbalistic studies, these places are not just tourist attractions, but living symbols of a deep-rooted faith that has shaped the nation's history and continues to influence its future. Language and religion in Israel are intertwined, each influencing and shaping the other. Hebrew prayers and religious texts have played a crucial role in preserving the language, while the Hebrew language has in turn helped to keep Jewish traditions and teachings alive. Language and religion, the dual threads that weave the rich tapestry of Israeli culture, they provide a window into the soul of the nation revealing a people deeply rooted in their past, yet always looking forward, embracing change, and continually shaping their unique identity. Language and religion, the dual threads that weave the rich tapestry of Israeli culture. And now for some intriguing nuggets about Israel that you might not know. Firstly, did you know that Israel is a global leader in water recycling? Yes, indeed. While the rest of the world recycles approximately 10% of their water, Israel recycles a staggering 85%, making it the world leader in water reuse. This is largely due to their advanced desalination plants and innovative irrigation methods. Quite a feat for a country that's mostly desert, wouldn't you say? Next up, if you have an insatiable thirst for knowledge and love for history and art, Israel should be your next destination. This small country holds the record for the highest number of museums per capita in the world, from the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, home to the Dead Sea Scrolls, to the Design Museum in Holon, with its innovative architecture, there's a museum to suit every interest. Now let's move on to an interesting fact about the Israeli Defense Forces, or IDF. Unlike many other countries, the IDF drafts both men and women into military service. Women have been serving in the IDF since its establishment in 1948. They've held positions ranging from combat roles to Supreme Court judges, making Israel one of the few nations where women have been in high-ranking military positions. Last but not least, let's talk about the Israeli love for reading. Israel has the world's highest percentage of home computers per capita, and it's also one of the world's biggest consumers of books. The annual International Book Fair in Jerusalem is a testament to this, drawing book lovers and authors from around the globe just when you thought you knew everything about Israel, it surprises you with more. We've journeyed through time exploring the fascinating history of Israel. Our expedition began with the origins of Israel, a tale woven through centuries and cultures marked by significant events and milestones. We saw the evolution of a nation from ancient times to present day, each era leaving an imprint on the fabric of its identity. We then ventured into the political landscape where we discovered a democratic system punctuated by a unique blend of parliamentary and presidential elements. This system has shaped the nation's trajectory, influencing its domestic and international relations. Next, we delved into the economy, a vibrant tapestry of innovation, resilience, and growth. Despite its humble beginnings, Israel has evolved into a global powerhouse, a testament to its robust economic policies and entrepreneurial spirit. Our journey further led us to explore the role of women in Israeli society. We witnessed their transformation from traditional roles to becoming pivotal contributors in every sphere of life. Their impact, undeniably, has been instrumental in shaping the nation's progress. Our exploration of language and religion unveiled a rich cultural mosaic, 
Hebrew, a language revived from the past, and Judaism, the predominant religion, both play a crucial role in uniting the diverse population and preserving the cultural heritage. Lastly, we shared some intriguing facts about Israel, from its love for books to its impressive number of Nobel laureates, painting a picture of a nation that values knowledge and innovation. In essence, the history of Israel is a captivating narrative of perseverance, adaptability, and progress. Each chapter of its story contributes to its unique identity, intertwining the past with the present, tradition with innovation, and challenges with triumphs. History Divers, we hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the history of Israel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us as we dive into more history in our next video. Until then, keep exploring.